What's going on, everybody? This is Matt Does Fitness, and a friend of mine just told me that his dad died in a giant coffee grinding drum. I said to him, that must have been horrible. And he said, well, at least it was instant. Okay, first ever coffee death related joke. Um, This is my squat highlights from week two of my fourth cycle, and my word, it was good. Um probably gathered from the title, but I feel like right now I am just, I've just kind of boarded a boat which is traveling to Gain City, um, or a train I guess probably more apt, uh, and it's just going so quick, it's picking up so much speed. I'm probably actually driving or piloting the boat, um, I've discovered like an extra gear on the boat, I don't know if boats have gears, um, I've set the rudder or whatever mechanism the boat has uh, to, to this destination, the Gaines City, um, and I'm going so quickly it's unreal um so in the last kind of uh probably two months i guess two two months to, 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 to ten weeks since i changed to low bar squatting and started wearing the spd knee sleeves my squats have absolutely taken off um and I kind of followed suit this week so in this first session here i went for five sets of three at 424 pounds 192 and a half kilos and i got them and the first couple in particular felt crazy crazy easy that second set you just saw there uh, I went slightly too far to the left on my first rep and I actually hit the rack which threw me off balance but I managed to complete the squat, stand up, move slightly to the right, get back into position and then complete the rest of the set um, with no problems which is like I said it's pretty crazy because there wasn't, I mean there was a time, would have been a time uh, not that long ago where this would have been a massive PR for me, I would have been delighted to get this for a single so to be getting it for five sets of three and like I said a couple of them or few of them feeling really really easy is just pretty friggin crazy but um when it's there you've got to take it so that is what i'm doing i'm clutching it with both hands uh my feet as well i've actually got my hands on it and my feet all my kind of limbs my uh usable uh bodily mechanisms are clutching this uh opportunity and i'm going for it now the one issue i do have or not really an issue but one thing i'm kind of conundrum i have is i don't know when to test um i feel like i possibly have a 500 pound squat in me right now but I'm only obviously two weeks into the cycle. I'd like to get a bit more work done. At the same time, I'm thinking obviously Christmas and New Year and stuff are coming up, so I may lose a couple of sessions. So is it good, you know, to test and then relax over that time, or should I use that time to get fresh in, in preparation to test? I don't know. I'll probably just do what I always do, which is wing it and play it by ear and see how I feel. But yeah, at the moment, I'm my squats just feel crazy good. There was a time when I'd go into the gym and almost dread squats. Right now, I pretty much look forward to them, um, with the exception of 5x5, five five, which, let's face it, sucks. But yeah, generally speaking, uh, my squats feel so good right now. It is madness. The weight's going up so quickly. Literally every single week, I'm doing a new rep PR. Um, I mean, the 225 kilo, the 496 pound squat I did at the competition was absolutely huge. For me, that was a massive, massive uh, milestone. And I already feel like I'm good to beat that. So, you know, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to speak too soon, but I reckon at least 500 pounds is there but we shall see um right anyway after those five sets, of th five sets of three i went for some front squats 120 kilos 264 pounds nice and light just for three sets of five uh, the thinking here was that um i didn't want to overdo it because obviously the first week back from my competition i didn't do i only squatted once and i was hugely sore after that so um i didn't want to push my like i did more work here than i did there so i figure i can just kind of gradually build it up uh, in this session I wasn't feeling ill, I was feeling fine at this point, it wasn't until the deadlifts a couple of days later that I started feeling ill, and now I am full blown ill, um, I am in the midst of a ill fest, which is not a good fest to be in, uh, probably the worst fest of anything. Um, right, accessory work wise, for the first session I did some uh, cable rows with a pretty wide grip, um, three sets of I think... 12 down to about eight ish, uh, not too heavy with those, but leaning right back to make it pretty much a yeah, like a straight row, like a perpendicular row. Um, I then did some face pulls because I have, I've made it a big priority of mine to do as much rear delt work as possible because I definitely felt like I was neglecting it previously, and that may well have been a contributing factor to the shoulder issues I was having because. Although I was doing a little bit of it, I'll be looking at, you know, at best once a week and obviously benching and, you know, all the kind of chest fly type stuff. I was doing that all the time. So I need to maintain a balance there. I think it's really important just for overall shoulder health. Uh, three sets of 12-ish of those. And I finished the first session with some machine uh, preacher curls 
on uh, another fantastic gym, another kind of brilliant uh, showcase of what my gym has to offer. I did three sets of, I think, eight down to about six. I think I went quite heavy here. I do, with my accessory work, tend to just mix it up. Sometimes I'll do sets in the, in the kind of 12 rep range. Other times I feel like going a bit heavier just to kind of, you know, stimulate the adaptation. And I'll do sets in the six to kind of eight range with heavier weight. Um, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling. On the day, um, right, second session, and at this point, I'm feeling ill. So, I did this today. Um, I was I was going to sack it off. I was going to leave it for today and just not and just have a rest day, take a couple of days off because I thought I want to get better. I don't want you know, my kind of cold to become like an issue. Um, but it got to later in the day, and I felt like I don't know. So what I, what I tend to do is if I, if I do feel like missing stuff, I'll miss it, and then later on in the day, I get I'm annoyed at myself for, for missing it, and by that point, it's too late. So I thought I'll get to the gym and see what I can do. And bizarrely enough, I did another rep PR. So. I went for three sets of three, 195 kilograms, which is 430 pounds, and I got them. And again, as with the first session, the first couple felt pretty easy, which is just madness. Um, I was going to do, I mean, this session would have ordinarily been five sets of five. But obviously, with the illness, I can't really breathe properly. So any more than three reps, I would have been struggling to breathe. So I thought I'd just play it safe with three sets of three. I mean, I could have done more. I reckon I, I, reckon I could have got this for maybe four, even five reps, but... I didn't want to push my luck, and like I said, I just want to. I wanted to get kind of enough in that it would get that adaptation, but not too much that it's going to make me feel crap because I am feeling pretty uh, rubbish right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I keep. I feel like I sound like a stuck record here, but I can't believe the 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 way my squats are going up right now. I'm literally. I mean, this is two sessions in the space of one week, so this is what four days after the first session, and I'm PR and again. Um, it just felt so good. I mean, admittedly, though, this is the third set here, so the last rep here was a little bit grindy, but, you know, it's not major. Every single rep, I knew I had it straight away. I felt like my depth was pretty good there. I kind of settled into a nice uh, a nice kind of point in terms of my depth, depth in that before when I first changed the low bar, I think I was dropping down really, really deep, um, and it was getting a, causing a massive amount of butt wink and also throwing me off balance. Also, by the way, I hate the term butt wink. It sounds ridiculous, but... That's the only way I can, uh, can kind of describe what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, yeah, now I feel like I'm still going, you know, pretty much the full depth. I'm still getting that stretch reflex, that bounce at the bottom. But because I'm kind of, my knees are traveling forwards a little bit, um, I don't feel like I'm having to go, you know, ridiculously deep. And I feel all the stronger for it. Um, anyway, accessory work-wise there, I did some front squats. Three sets of three at 140 kilograms, 309 pounds, which I think is a PR for sets of three. Um... I mean, it's pretty decent for a front squat, but yeah, I felt good there. The first set in particular felt nice and easy. Um, I could probably do a front squat PR now for a single if I wanted to, but I don't want to, so I didn't. Um, front squats have, again, kind of gone up quite a lot recently. I think that's pretty much entirely because I've started doing those twice a week. That may also be a contributing factor towards my overall squat gains because whereas before I was doing front squats and then pause squats, now I'm just doing front squats and I'm doing them in both sessions, I think. That has generally helped me uh, in that area for sure. Um, here I'm doing some close grip uh, cable rows on the same machine. Again, lying on the floor, uh, as is the case in my gym. Uh, I did three sets of, I think, 10 down to about eight. I went relatively heavy there. And I then did some nice wide grip, uh, again, on the same machine, kind of lat pull downs, because uh, I feel when I do a nice wide grip, I get a huge amount of lat engagement. Um, and so... That's what I like to do, just mix up the close grip, the, the medium grip, and the wide grip. Um, and that, my friends, concludes my session and my week. So, I am now going to go and have some Lem Sip, and maybe try some kind of witch doctor um, type medicine, see how I get on there. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, as always, and I will see you tomorrow.